Hello, and welcome back to season two of Discover Virginia Beach podcast, where we set out to discover, define, and do everything the Virginia Beach area has to offer for both locals and tourists alike. Today, I'm at one of the newest real estate developments out in Suffolk, Virginia, led by Napolitano Homes. This local home builder group specializes in creating new neighborhoods, and it tackles one of the biggest challenges any area faces when it comes to expansion and providing accommodations for people to live, work, and play here in the area. I have the pleasure of speaking with Jasmine Falou, local realtor and site manager uh, for one of the Palatano home neighborhoods here at Village Point in Suffolk, Virginia. Jasmine, welcome to the podcast. Hi, thank you for having me. Yeah, it's such a pleasure. And thank you for hosting us here for another episode of the podcast. What brought you to the area originally? And of course, what got you to stick around and build your life and your business here? Well, we are originally New Yorkers. We were looking for a place to raise our family. Our kids were small at the time. We visited here. We had a timeshare um, in Williamsburg. We fell in love with the area. We explored a little bit further in and we found Suffolk. We loved the area. It's just a really nice place to raise a family. Absolutely. I love that. And for those not familiar with Suffolk, would you mind kind of outlining it on a, ver- uh, on a map for us of where it is relative to Virginia Beach? Well, we're 40 minutes to Virginia Beach, so um, 10 minutes to the interstate. We're locally um, positioned here in Chuckatuck. Chuckatuck is a farm area. It's surrounded by beautiful cotton fields, just a really quaint small town, <clears throat> excuse me, small town feel. And um, it's convenient to get around to the peninsula. We can get to the oceanfront easily. We've got many military families here that commute to work. So it's definitely a place to explore. I love that. And especially considering you're only 40 minutes from the beach. A lot of people ask me, Joe, when I'm visiting the area or I'm trying to like figure out where to live, I still want to be close to the beach. And I'm like, Suffolk is still on on the map. It's an option because you're only 40 minutes away. And mind you, you do have uh, quite a bit of stretch of highway to cover, but it's not as uh, developed or populated as you'd say in North exactly. Bank or Virginia Beach. Yes. Now, Jasmine, I understand you got started in advertising. I'm curious, what was that transition like from advertising to uh, real estate? And what are some of the similarities you noticed right off the bat when you made that transition? Um, well, I loved advertising in my 20s. It was kind of my dream job. I was working as an account executive over on Pepsi-Cola. Um, but it actually really prepared me for what I'm currently doing. So I'm a people person. I love, um, helping people, uh, obviously selling. I am not pushy at all, but, um, advertising and marketing being my background really prepared me for selling homes and just my interest in architecture and, um, real estate brought me to where I was here. I had a daughter. I didn't want to do the long hours in advertising. And then real estate was kind of that job that I could have flexibility with. Um, Resale was a whole different thing than new construction, but um, it really is about the relationships for me. Especially considering, you know, you came to this area relatively unfamiliar with the landscape and then just plugging in and using your people skills to just figure things out is incredible. A lot of folks who, you know, may, you know, be new, newer to the area might have that resistance or hesitance to like put yourself out there. But what many folks don't know is like, we're not all from this area, including myself. Yes. Um, which is why I love having these conversations. Now, Jasmine, as we kind of fast forward into the landscape of your real estate journey, uh, are there any, um, you know, milestones or memorable moments you had when you were like, okay, this is uh, a transition, a pivotal point in my career. Here's the things I want to make sure I keep from the advertising side. And here are the things I want to maybe leave behind in the advertising side to help propel my career forward. Well, now as as times have changed i mean using social media to really plug our neighborhoods or even to reach uh buyers we're, we get a lot of leads that way sure. um, i mean you yourself know as you're using this um way of reaching people but advertising was really a focus on branding so branding myself before I started new construction was important. And I I think that that really helped me kind of reach people that way. 
um, with new construction, my focus is branding the builder. So Napolitano Homes has a lot of outlets as well. They're on social media. They're all over um, uh, websites and all over the search engines to sure. find us. I think they're easily accessible. But um, in terms of leaving anything, I don't. Th I think I'm utilizing everything. Sure. Yeah. Um, it's it's a way of kind of just uh, easily branding myself, the um, relationship with Napolitano Homes, just bringing that out. Um, I We do have a marketing team. It's not just myself, but I feel like that experience has really helped me to be able to easily put the brand out there. I, I love that. And Jasmine, I really appreciate you highlighting that because a lot of the uh, stereotypes and myths behind realtors and real estate agents in general is that they might not always be qualified for the job because of the barrier of entry for you know becoming an agent is so low. So I appreciate you showcasing your experience here because you're not just uh, you know someone that just got their license and showed up. You're somebody who's put in the hours, really figuring out how to navigate the landscape of advertising and also equipping people with the information they need to know from the square footage to the location to the pricing and everything that goes into you know purchasing one of the largest assets that many people ever uh, acquire in their lifetime. Right. I'd love to talk more about Napolitana Homes. Um, so you represent them as the site manager, correct? And would you mind walking us through, uh, you know, just an average day um, working with them and also, you know, coming to the job site, some things you might oversee. And then, of course, you know, maybe um, any things that you look uh, forward to when it comes to the day to day operations. Um, we have a very busy schedule, meaning the team. So I come in in the morning, I check with my fields team, um, the construction team is here. The site builder is one that I have a lot of contact with, but the builder himself is very much involved as well, which I really enjoy. Um, Vince Napolitano is very much in tune with what's going on in all of his communities. We zoom in if we're unable to make it all the way to the builder's office. Um, we're able to call him. He'll pick up easily. He's very much uh, wanting to uh, communicate with us and give us options if we need to. As you know, real estate is not something that's the same ever. It changes. <laughs> it's not a one and done, a checkbox no, and it's completed. No, not at all. <laughs> every, every deal or every um, transaction is different. So we never know what's going to happen. Um, we are all working together to get them successfully to closing, but things happen and we are always communicating, making sure that we have that open conversation so that we can cover anything that may come up. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and of course, you know, there's, there's so much that covers over the span of a day, but I just wanted to highlight one of the unique features that you all offer is your builder is local to the Suffolk area. They know, like, and trust the area. They want to invest in the community. And that's one of the things that stands out for Napolitano Homes. When uh, when the Johnsons came in and worked with us, you know, um, shout out to the Johnsons. Uh, we had an opportunity to work, uh, Jasmine and I, together on a real estate uh, purchase uh, for new construction. So you all are not only just doing, you know, closings, but you are overseeing the builds, making sure uh, the kitchens are getting put in time and making sure that, yes. you know, there aren't any holiday delays. And if there are any holiday delays, you know, it comes with a, a special Mariah Carey welcome when it's ready to go. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, it's um, we're definitely um, always trying to include the buyer in the process. Sure. They don't have to physically be here every day. But what I do is... And but they can. They can. They if, can. They, if they want to drive Absolutely. by the lot every day, yeah. I encourage them to come out. But mm -hmm. um, my job is to consistently send them photos of what's going on, let them know stage by stage the process and what's going on in the house, what has arrived in the home, are we meeting the timeline, or is, you know, it's... It's really exciting to get them involved that way so that they can document the process of um, breaking ground all the way to closing day when everything is finished and clean. Absolutely. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, I think it's very important with new construction to keep the buyer involved and let them see the process stage by stage. Absolutely. Sure, sure. Especially considering, you know, there is no really any models to, to replicate uh, in this area, especially in Suffolk. It's more rural and more developments are coming about, but you and Napolitano Homes are doing 
uh, what I believe is, is a really good job and why we wanted to highlight you on the, on the podcast is just to showcase just how involved you allow your clients to be in that decision-making process. Would you mind walking us through um, a little bit about some of the unique features? Because I could talk about it all day, but I'd love to kind of dig uh, into the specifics with you. Maybe one or two aspects that help you stand out amongst other um, home builders you might find in this area. Um, of course, not wanting to put anybody down, but maybe just helping, uh, you know, just highlight some of those features, just how you distinguish yourselves. I'd love to. Um, Napolitano Homes is a family uh family company. It's uh, a place where they focus on location. They find the right locations. They have quality homes. They're priced well. Um, I think it's a great opportunity for first-time buyers here at Village Point. We were priced in the 300s. Now pricing is increasing, but we're still focused on those things that would draw people to this area. Um, they are very much involved with what's what the needs are. We're very busy. I think that homes now are designed for that busy hustle and moving around type of lifestyle. Um, we have a lot of remote workers, people who are sure. working from home now. So we've got home or floor plans that feature a study where they can comfortably use their home and have an office at home. Um, and I can't not mention our location because I think that Village Point is in a place that's just a gem in Suffolk. Um, we're surrounded by beautiful cotton fields here. We're just minutes from uh, theaters and restaurants. We're surrounded by beautiful lakes. So if you enjoy um, kayaking or fishing with your family, this is the perfect place to be. Um, but you definitely get more for your money here. So if you're shopping around wanting to be close to the beach or maybe um, need a place where you think you can conveniently get to shopping and hospitals and things like that, I would encourage you to come and check out Village Point because we are definitely giving you the um, kind of safe place of uh, that small country feel, but you're just minutes away from everything that you can enjoy and uh, visit. Absolutely. Yeah. And I appreciate you zooming in on Village Point because D Napolitano Homes has projects all over uh, the Virginia area and they help you from build, purchasing your own lot to building there to also their planned communities like Village Point. Um, Jasmine, I love that. And I'm super excited to share that with a lot of our listeners who may be on the fence about well, how country is country? It's like, no, there are uh, grocery stores, there's healthcare, there's major highway systems that are set up already, good to go, without all of the people. And with uh, the second largest uh, city per acreage, you know, Suffolk, there's plenty of room to, to grow and expand. Absolutely. As you all have, uh, you know, begun to get through the different reps of building and building, uh, you know, uh, pre-COVID and post-COVID and all the things that go with the uh, typical process and possible shipping delays, would you mind highlighting uh, some of the uh, main features and uh, connections that you make when it comes specifically to the community? How, how has the community influenced uh, the way in which you all conduct your business here? Well, um, I think that this was enhancing this area. Um, we're between homes that are original here. We've got some neighbors that came over to introduce themselves to us that have been here for generations. There's families here um, that have uh, been here so long that when we were breaking ground here, they were curious as to what we're doing here. What is it that we're bringing to the area? They were very concerned. But sure. I think that seeing now that we're... Um, pretty much wrapping up the neighborhood, I think that they're pleased with what we're, we've done. We wanted to keep the integrity of the area. We thought that that was the overall focus, was for us to blend in, not to take from it. We just wanted to showcase this beautiful area here. We're still surrounded by these um, farms, but um, it still is a place where we can conveniently get to the interstate and things like that. So I think Napolitano Homes did a great uh, focus on maintaining the area and not changing things here. I love that. Yeah, and especially, you know, considering the stereotype of builders, they come in, they tear everything down, and they kind of start fresh. 
Palatano Homes does not fit that mold no. whatsoever. I mean, they are very focused on preservation, as you mentioned before, uh, and then also just you know helping get feedback from the community. Would you mind highlighting some of the ways in which they gather community feedback and how they allow that to uh, help with the decision-making process of the builds in general? Well, Napolitano Homes is not the developer here. Um, there is a developer that selects the location, um, but I think that uh, the, the way they market this community itself is still, again, um, reflective of where we are. Um, the roads are changed. The, um, the neighborhood has now had the top coat to the streets. Uh, traffic is changing, um, but things around this area are still developing. We're seeing growth in Suffolk. People uh, were hesitant to come out to Suffolk at sure, one point. Sure. I remember early on in my career, people were like, oh, I don't know about Suffolk. I don't know if I want to commute that far. But the mindset has really changed. And I think it was more a shift once COVID hit. We got um, so much interest here. We were extremely busy. And I think that um, people really started to kind of uh, explore further out to see more um, homes that would offer a little bit more privacy. And uh, I think this is a perfect location for that. Absolutely. Love it. Jasmine, this has been a great conversation. Thank you so much. Um, anything you can uh, leave our listeners with uh, as far as possible future developments or upcoming plans here in Village Point or Napolitano Homes in general? Well, Napolitano Homes is always working to find other great locations. This, I believe, was a home run. They really uh, selected an area that was going to grow, and it's it's just a beautiful place Absolutely. to live. Um, but they are always looking for a new place to develop, and they have a lot of plans for next year. Um, I definitely would love for people to look up the Napolitano Homes website. Absolutely. Make sure As that featured you understand. in the video podcast. Definitely Absolutely. go and check that out. <laughs> Um, they are a builder that you will definitely be impressed with. I think they really care. And um, it's, it's important that you find out more about your builder and who's building your home. Definitely look us up. Absolutely. Yes. And of course, as always in the audio show notes uh, down in the description below. Uh, Jasmine, thanks again. Um, we are going to move on to our next section, which is our rapid fire section. These questions are quick and fast. Uh, you can answer with as much or as little detail as you want. Are you ready? I'm ready. All righty. First question. Favorite aspect of real estate? The relationships. Love it. Beach or countryside when it comes to personal relaxation days? Beach. Any beach in particular? I love Virginia Beach. Which one? I like the ocean front. Ocean front? Yeah. Classic, we do, classic, we do a lot yeah. of staycations. Yeah. That's a good one. Dream vacation destination. Somewhere you have been before and you want to go back or somewhere you haven't been yet at all? I would love to visit Tulum. I'm kind of obsessed with it. Tulum? Okay. Yeah. I would love to just like see that culture and see. Yeah. So that's my dream. Love it. Love it. Vacation. And last one for you. Any advice for someone starting down the first time home buyer route? Yes. Um, start saving early. Start visiting lenders and having the conversation early. Um, just trying to get all your things in order so that once you start looking at property, you'll kind of know where you are. I think a conversation with a lender is very important for people that are considering or wanting to buy a home. Um, it'll put you in a state of knowing exactly what it is you need to focus on. You'll know exactly what to expect. And I think it really kind of helps with the fear. I keep mentioning that, but a lot of people are scared. They don't know if, um, you know, if they can or, sure. you know, what it entails. And um, sometimes it's, it's just stressful. But uh, finding a really good realtor, having a relationship with someone who's licensed who can really talk you through the process is really important. I love that. Great advice, Jasmine. And thank you again for this conversation. Um, with that said, we'd love to roll out the virtual red carpet for you. This is your time <laughs> to share anything that you have going on, any special words uh, that you'd like to leave our listeners with. Uh, the floor is all yours. Well, again, I'm going to focus on first-time buyers. You can do this. This is uh, something that 
helps with um, creating wealth for yourself and your family. Um, I think that, again, finding the right realtor um, to guide you through the process is important. Um, Napolitano Homes has condominiums, townhomes. They have single family properties. Um, I would definitely encourage you to um, look, start there with the builder. And then, you know, if you want to reach out to me, I'd be happy to point you in the right direction. Absolutely. Love it. All of Jasmine's information will be in the show notes below, as well as Napolitano Homes and all of their sites that they have uh, currently actively working on. Uh, Jasmine, this has been great. Thank you so much for the conversation today. Uh, And thank you to our dedicated listeners for checking out another episode of Discover Virginia Beach Podcast. Uh, Just a friendly reminder, this is a live recording podcast. We have a special uh, tour coming up for you of one of the sites that Jasmine features, uh, as well as a behind the scenes look of everything that the Suffolk area has to offer. So if you're listening to this in the audio version, definitely go and check out that video uh, wherever you can find uh, the YouTube channel and of course in the show notes below. And we hope you have enjoyed this episode. Talk to you all later.